Welcome, thanks for joining us today. My name is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. Our website is sis the number four teachers.org. Today we're super excited because we're going to show you how to play bump games that students can learn from this tutorial video or you can play the video for your class to learn the game. In our first level, we're going to play level one of bump. You need to have the following materials ready. One of them is the bump game board. You're going to need a set of dice, as well as 10 counted out clear counters of one color, and then 10 counted out counters of another color. We're choosing today to use blue and red on our game. It's very nice to be able to put this uh, games into a clear sleeve so that students can get them easily out of a binder or a folder to find the game. If students are watching this video, you're going to want to take notes on the rules of how to play and collaboratively talk to your group about how you would play the game Bump. The object of the game is if I'm going to be red and my partner is going to be blue, we need to be sitting shoulder to shoulder so that we're both viewing the game board from the right side. I want in my play to get rid of my 10 counters first. My partner wants to be able to get rid of their 10 counters before me. When you roll doubles in this game, you get to have another turn, which is a great bonus. The first level of bump is very simple. I'm going to go first and roll, add up the total of my dice, which is five plus two. So I'm going to put a counter on seven. My partner is going to roll the dice and they added it up to get nine. So they're going to put one counter on nine. I'm going to go ahead and roll again. When I rolled, I ended up getting nine. So I get to take my red counter and bump off the blue counter and give my partner back her counter back in her container. The object of the game is to get rid of your counters first, so it's really great when you can bump someone because their counter returns back to their cup. Our next player is going to, our sec player two is going to go ahead and go and roll. They end up getting eight, so they went ahead and put that total on their uh, counter on eight. It's my turn now. I ended up getting seven. I'm really lucky because I already have a counter on seven, so I get to crown the seven. I technically now own the seven and I am unbumpable. So if my partner rolls a seven, I am unbumpable. I own this and unfortunately she would lose her turn. We're trying to get rid of our counters as fast as we can. So when you lock out a number, it's untouchable and it's easier for you to get counters out because you've already got two that are guaranteed not to be bumped. My partner is going to go now. She ends up getting a five so she can put one counter on five. I roll and I end up getting seven. Although I do own this counter and our space and both of my counters are on there, I unfortunately lose my turn. My partner's gonna go. She has 12. However, in our rules, it says that when you get doubles, you get to go again. This is an advantage to her because she could potentially get rid of more counters on a turn than I have. She now has the number nine, which one of my reds on there, so she's going to bump it and return it to my cup. We're gonna continue playing until we are out of counters. In order to win this game, you have to be the first person to get rid of their counters. My partner ended up getting a nine, so she gets to crown her nine, so she technically owns that nine. I hope that I don't roll a nine. I keep getting that seven, which is working out to be a disadvantage right now because I lose my turn. My partner's getting a seven, so she loses her turn. Play is going to continue until all of our counters are gone. 
In this game, it's level one, it's very simplistic. We would continue playing, bumping, losing our turn, or maybe even crowning our number in order to win. Level one is a great way to start to learn how to play bump, to get the idea of how to bump another person, taking the dice and totaling the sum to find out which number you should put your total on. Thanks so much for joining us. You can join us for other videos on how to play level two of Bump, or one of my favorites is Bump Unlimited. Check us out at sis4teachers.org.